the truth the girls. Hi everyone, it's Sonia here and I'm here with Gunner, my son, and we're here to talk about the government shutdown. So I'm going to give you a little bit of background. There is right now a government shutdown in America. When I first heard of government shutdowns a few years ago, I thought that a government shutdown meant that all the um, services and laws were suspended and that America was sort of turned into this lawless, wild west kind of place. Um, oh, it, and then it, it would regressed. become like it, that it would regress and it would become afterwards like the road some kind of post apocalyptic you know that movie, scenario the road? yeah but it, yeah. it turns out it's not like that with the government shutdown it just means that some aspects or parts of the government are shut down do you want to know what they are i'll give you a few examples okay the irs which deals with people's taxes um is mostly shut down but they're still issuing tax refunds yay mm -hmm. um some aspects of the department of agriculture are shut down uh, some national parks are shut down. Oh, yes, yes. Services to tribal areas, including healthcare and snow plowing, are shut down. Oh, no. And the Smithsonian is also shut down. Oh. And there are some other er areas of government that are also not functioning. Oh, dear. But those that are deemed to be essential services, which includes healthcare to veterans and the TSA. You gotta invade people's personal space, or else. Well, what's the point of being in America if you're not gonna get. Watch your language. <laughs> Harassed. <laughs> At the airport. Well, TSA is considered an essential service, uh, so therefore they have to work without pay. The other areas that are not considered essential are furloughed, which means they're like on an unpaid leave right now. And this is affecting about 800,000 uh, federal employees in the U.S. right now. So why did this happen? According to Wikipedia, a government shutdown in America happens when the Congress is unable to pass sufficient appropriation bills or some other kind of legislation which allots funds that the federal government needs. So if the government says, we need money for XYZ, and the Congress fails to we need give them money, then wait, they wait, wait, wait. go into a shutdown. We need more money for creepy TSA agents. Well, yeah, it could be really anything. But if they can't agree, they go into the shutdown. So they went into shutdown on the 22nd of December, which means it's been like 20 days now. Now, in the past, there have been shutdowns, uh, but they usually last for like one or two days. There was one that lasted, I think, 25, 25. days in 1995, 1996. And there was one in 2013 that lasted like two weeks. Usually it just comes and goes and people don't even really know. But what happens if it goes too long, all those people that are on furlough, they're not being paid. And yeah. even the ones that are still working, they're not being paid. So it's turning out that a lot of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. Um, well, they're starting to have problems because they have no money coming in. Yeah. And also what could be affected is food with the Women, Infants and Children program and the SNAP program. If it ends within this month, it should be okay for next month's benefits. But if it continues into February, then these poor people who need the uh, food supplements are gonna have their benefits interrupted. So the reason the shutdown came about was that Trump asked for $5.7 billion to fund the southern border wall. And basically the Democrats said no and are opposing him in a very inflexible way. Gunner said he had a dream about it. <laughs> yeah. He had a dream about what? Well, it wasn't a dream. It was more like a vision. I dreamed a dream that Trump would <coughs> fail. He couldn't build the southern border wall. Not at all. I heard the Congress people say, We have no money for you, orange man. So the Democrats wouldn't give him the money, and Trump said, They're going to build a wall. Now I'm very sad and disappointed about what you have said. So, um, I'm going to shut down the government. Bing. Bing, bing, bing. Just like that. <laughs> bing, bing. Bing, bing, bada boom, bing, bada. Yeah. Hey, yeah. They <laughs> shut down the government. Now, because it's dragging on, people are starting to really get worried and saying, hey, you know, this is days. going to affect the economy. The stock market's going to crash. Um, a lot of people are going to suffer. But here's what I think. <sighs> Okay, and here's what I don't hear anybody else saying. 
Do you all remember what Obama did when he was in office? And he asked for $700 billion to bail out Wall Street, and they gave it to him because the, it, the, the banks had merged with the investment firms and gambled away all this money, and they were in all kinds of hot water. And so Obama said, well, we need to give them money because they're too big to fail, and they gave him the money. And that was under the Democrats. The Democrats thought it was okay to give $700 billion to Wall Street. But now Trump is asking for, for 5.7 to build a southern border wall. And they're so saying sorry, no. And now they've gone into a shutdown and everybody's trying to make Trump look bad. Oh, look what Trump is doing. He's going to ruin everything for everyone. But I think that the Democrats are kind of doing this on purpose to put him in a bad situation and make him look really bad. Because I don't think what he's asking for is at all unreasonable. Because after all, he's just delivering on the promises he made. He said he was going to build a wall. And now he's trying to follow through on that. And now everyone hates him for being a man of his word. Basically, he did say this was in the plans and 5.7 billion compared to 700 billion for Wall Street, that's really not that much. Now, I support America having a southern border wall, although I know it would not solve the problem of cartels bringing drugs in because they use tunnels. It would not solve the problem of people flying in and overstaying their visas. But it could But be, it would solve some problems, and it, it really just makes sense. It would also be sense. like the eighth modern wonder of the world. Probably great for tourism. But yeah. it, it would help with some of the, the flow of people trying to seek asylum, that they would have to go to ports of entry. I would hope they would open more ports of entry so the ones that exist wouldn't be totally congested. But in any case, I think that if Americans want a wall and Trump promised a wall, they should have a wall. Mm. Gunnar had to get a pillow. We don't have a wall between Canada and America, but Americans don't want to come up here because it's really cold. Yeah. And Canadians don't really want to go to America because then we would lose our health care. So we don't need a border wall, but you do need one on the southern uh, border of the U.S. because you have all those people from South America, from all those countries that are collapsing. They're looking for asylum and they think they can just bust into America and do it that way. And it'll stop so many casualties because they, they don't have to cross all the way through the desert now. It's true. It's a very dangerous thing to do. It's going to cut down on the problem. Yeah. So I believe that Trump should have his money and I think that the Democrats are just really trying to give him a hard time. How else can you explain this? But I do hope that the shut, shutdown comes to an end. I hope the Democrats come around and start being reasonable and realize, hey, this is what he promised. That's really not that much money compared to what you gave to Wall Street. So just give him the $5.7 billion. And that's it. Let me know what you think. And thank you for your support on Patreon. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye.